Gavlock Dungeons. Whether you love it or hate it, we can all agree that it's pretty much required for progression. And while myself am not a huge fan of dungeons, Hypixel recently updated the Berserker class. And I'm not gonna lie, these changes look pretty good. And so we're gonna be going on a journey where I start with a brand new account, and we're going to be progressing all the way from floor one to seven, only making money through dungeons itself. This is Berserker only to floor seven. Hello everyone, my name is Excessive, and this is where we're starting at today. So the TLDR of the new Berserk updates is that pretty much they move faster, they have better clear speed now that they have an extended range on their swings, as well as some other buffs such as like more lifesteal and now they have like a baby yeti passive. It, it's looking pretty good. And so to test out this new class, I created a brand new account, which if we go and check, we're currently skyblock level 11. We have a little bit of farming, a little bit of mining, and we just hit combat 18, which means we can finally use Aspect of the Dragons. So I was going to record how I got to this point, but it took me way longer than I expected. This is like six hours or so of playtime. So after hitting combat 12, we went straight to the end, got ourselves some Ender Armor. And then we kind of just farmed out Ender Nodes to get our Young Dragon set, since Young Dragon's really cheap. And then once we got Young Dragon and our Aurora Staff, we just farm treasure hoarders until we could afford our strong set, which you can see is like at least 2 mil, closer to 3 mil, as well as the aspect of the dragons, and this is going to be our starting set. Undungeonized strong dragon armor and an aspect of the dragons. So today we're going to attempt to at least get entrance cleared. Let's choose Berserk, this will be our one and only class for this entire playthrough. Oh boy, here we go. Our first run of the profile. Let's get our dungeon orb. We have Berserk selected and let's ready up. So for our pet, we're only using an Enderman pet since that's all we could afford. And our magical power is at 21. We're pretty stacked, man. It looks like we might be able to actually kill some stuff and we managed to kill a mini boss oh my god wait we're gaming so with the new berserk ulti when you ult uh, you start running dude you go fast nice managed to kill yet another mini boss the amount of beast share we're getting right now is crazy. And here we are at the blood room. Let's see if we can clear this. And we managed to clear it. It's only a C, but still. And hey, we got a skyblock level as well. Nice. Look at that, we got 100 Catacombs XP, let's go. So, after our first run, we got some Unstable Dragon Fragments, as well as some Rotten Armor. So, just after our very first run, we made about 20,000 coins, which we're going to use to reforge this chestplate into Fierce. There we go. And there we go, our very first Dungeon Armor piece. And then I'm thinking that we might save up for a Griffin pet just because the regen 5 and strength 7 is really good. Although 2.6 million is going to take a while to get. But now it's time to go back and grind some Catacombs XP. You can already see the AoE. It's actually pretty cool. Having like a swing radius. Yeah, the clear does feel really nice. It's only going to get better the higher up we go. Ah, rip, we done. It's actually insane how many beast cherry milestones you get in dungeons. Whew, we did manage to kill him. We can see how far away we can hit him from with the extended range. 
It's actually awesome. And wow, yeah, that throwing knife or the throwing axe does hit pretty hard. Hey, we did it. We got a B rating. Although I kind of had to solo that since our other guy with us, he is an Iron Man in Ender Armor. But hey, a clear is a clear. So in terms of drops, we got some Holy Dragon Fragments. We got some more raw in Armor, which we're definitely going to use. And we're going to keep the chest piece we have since this one has a 24% stat boost. Well, this one only has a 13. We actually do have a tank this run too. Another B rank, but that's fine. We are now Catacombs level 4, let's go. And Berserk level 4 as well, nice. And I think it might finally be time to do floor 1. Although real quick, we did get some run legging, so that is the full armor set. We're going to use this new multi salvage. So let's put in all the rares. Oh, that's so cool. And epics. Okay. Let's make sure there's no 50% like those we do want to keep. So in total, we're going to get 65 undead essence. Wow. Oh, there it goes. That's so cool. And then we're going to attempt to sell these heavy leggings on the auction house. We're going to sell ours for 50,000 and hope we can get them. Now I'll try to get fierce on these new pants. First try again, let's go. Okay, and then now we're going to attempt to do our first floor one clear. And here we go, let's see. I have a feeling this is not going to turn out good, but maybe our team can carry us. Well, I died really fast. Uh, it looks like our team is gonna carry us. Dude, these things one shot me. Oh my god. I have no idea how this fight's gonna go. Maybe we somehow win this, but this is looking rough. Yep, we get one shot. Welp, we tried. <laughs> that was almost a 17 minute run. We are gonna hold off on floor one for now. I thought I was recording, but this is actually our second floor one clear. Let's see if we get anything good in the chests. 26,000. 47,000, okay. And then once we sell the stuff, if we have 100,000 coins, we can open up another chest that we rolled pretty good on. So on our very first floor one clear, we actually got this chest, which is positive 300k coins. Only downside is that it costs 100k to open, and we don't have that many yet. But hopefully after some more runs we can sell some essence and then we should be good to go. Let's see if we got anything good. 50k coins there, nothing. NK, yeah. We're gonna go with the free box. Like I'm, I'm doing my best not to get carried. Like I'm only using party finder, but still, even with only using Party Finder, I've been finding some good players. Yeah, this guy's gonna carry. Jeez. Almost 10k health. And it looks like we actually got a 50% stat boost on the boots. What a good drop. And A, our very first S plus run. And we got a recombobulator, wow. Too bad we cannot afford this chest. <laughs> How unfortunate. And we're gonna try to get some stars on this. Okay, we got a three star, which is pretty good. So it looks like our necromancer's brooch sold, so let's collect that. We now have 100,000 coins, which means 
we can finally claim this chest. And here we go. So it looks like the cheapest one's 325k. We're gonna sell ours for 300k. Also, this item sold. Nice. Put this guy up there for 300k. And we're good to go. Hopefully that sells. And it looks like our rejuvenates just sold, so let's go claim those as well. Okay, so we're gonna go for one more floor one clear, and then I think we'll wrap it up for today's video. And it looks like the balloon snake sold. Nice. That is some huge profit right there. Hey, we hit milestone three. Let's go. Hey, another S plus. Let's go. Let's collect the balloon snake. And there we go. We officially have 450,000 coins. So this is our official setup at the end of the first episode. We have a full rotten set. Some of which have pretty good stat boosts. We're still running with the aspect of the dragons. Or combat 18. As well as Catacomb 7, getting pretty close to Catacombs 8. And we officially have 6 clear so far for Bonzo. I think for the first episode we made a pretty good amount of progress. Hopefully in the next episode we can clear floor 2. I'm not exactly sure what our next weapon is going to be, but I do think the next set of armor we should go for, I believe, is Zombie Knight. Or maybe it's Skeleton Knight. Either way, hopefully we can get our hands on some new gear here pretty soon. That is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing as it does help the channel a ton. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.